Hello, welcome back. We are here in the underground cable, uh, trying to get make our way to Karma Society. And let's finally get this dungeon started. I know it's been a while. Uh, let's see, we could go down that ladder there. Let's, let's go this way first. So there's a lot of things we gotta do. We gotta find the little brother of the engineer. And hopefully he's okay. We also have to defeat this Kaiwan. So we've got ourselves a new enemy. Um, let's try fire. Correct. Okay. So I'm just gonna pass here. Attack. And devour. Oh, yes. So apparently this item... Um, the Hiho Ring is given to me because I defeated King Frost in the first game. So it seems if you've defeated some optional bosses in the first game, um, you get a few rewards in this one. So that's kind of nice. And also makes me feel a little better because I was a little scared that they would give me null ice at the beginning of the game. Like, it's no big deal. Oh my god! Um... Okay. Let's pass here. An Aggie, and then hope he doesn't attack Surf again. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's good. Man, what the heck was that? That was a, a nasty crit. Reminded me of, honestly, Persona 5. And Nocturne, where you just, you know, get ambushed and you're done. That's it. Okay, we got a quick data. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, restore all HP, MP, agility. Okay, so these are our noises. Okay, we can sell clovers to the Mad Mart. Yep. Okay. And a charge shot. So I wasted money earlier buying charge shot, I guess. Uh, well, no, I guess I could upgrade you from the shot shell. Which is just a regular bullet, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna minimize the amount of running that I do in these battles, uh, in this game. Because... I guess I, I'm gonna need the Atma points for this one. But also, just, um... I guess people like seeing the battles, sort of. Also, it, it would be much more dangerous to just run from everything. Because if I fail, then I die. At least not until I get quick escape or something similar. We have the advantage. All right, we got Devour for Gale, so I'm going to put that on him. So that you can devour as well. Uh, don't really need mad rush or body rush. So let's give you that. I mean, devour scales off of physical attack anyway. So yeah, should be good. And then you, you also have devour, which I guess I'll put in in place of Patra. 
just in case I need you to eat something. Okay, I'm gonna go back and switch up their mantras a little bit. And I can start talking a little bit more about the mantras that you guys have given information about. So, um, apparently these purple, oh, yeah, these purple mantras here, once I can move my cursor, um, once they get maxed, they give permanent, or some of them would give permanent um, stat increases to the entire party. Or it might not even be stat increases all the time, could be different effects or stuff. So they're actually worth getting as, uh, as quickly as possible. Of course, I would have to get everything around them first, but um, let's see, I want you, I got Devourer, so now I can give you Bolt, work towards Bolt Wizard, so let's get you protection. Okay. And then <coughs> Oh wonderful. Okay. So I can get you start on dragon. That's good. And surf, you're doing fine. I think I have everything to get this purple one soon. Once I get fierce spirit here which I think is going to give me, um, I can't select it now, but that'll probably give me a Medaya or something. Once I get that, I can get that first purple. So, I might want to work towards that eventually. Okay, crossfire combo, twin shot combo. Let's see, heavy damage, moderate damage, one enemy. Um, let's try twin shot. Okay, actually really nice. How much damage do you do normally? Okay, okay. Not much. So yeah, definitely worth doing the twin shot. Uh, I could probably just crossfire here, can't I? Okay. Yeah, they do some pretty good damage with that gun. And the fact that they're not weak to anything during that phase is not bad. Does use a lot of HP though, but I mean, that'll be fixed later when we get things like Medaya. Get three firewalls, so that will come in handy. I do have a Void Fire already. Primal Dance combo. Heavy damage physical, one enemy. That was good. That'll help me get Dragon real quick. Okay, let's see. Let's go down this way. Get ourselves another Clover, perhaps? A vital ring. Okay, another karma ring. So that can go to surf, and that should raise vitality by three. All right. Oh, that keyhole ring is so nice.
let me know if karma rings get too overpowered if or if there's specific ones that I should avoid using because they trivialize the game or something but uh, I don't know I, I think it should be fine because even if there was one that does like null null elements to help Cielo I mean it'll probably be really late game and hard to get anyway so I think it should be fine I don't think there are any that I should avoid using all right so that's our first um, encounter with the with Tarunda and different buffs and debuffs so you guys told me that in this game instead of the plus and minus four from the first game this is a plus three minus three game and I'm pretty sure Shikome uses fire Yeah, so this game is plus three and minus three. So I need to remember, instead of going to plus four, uh, which shouldn't be too hard. I, mean, I always forget things, but that's fine. Gotta put Dia in there, just in case we need it. Wonderful. And he has it in, in, uh, in just mana now. Okay. They're just here abusing Gale now. Uh, let's Matera first. Get a million attacks. Now let's go ahead and revive Gale. Oh! I would Medaya. If I could afford it with action economy. Damn it. Okay, that was actually really close. One to agility. Okay, let's go ahead and give you... I mean, I don't really need Void Earth. I do need Void um, Electricity soon. Actually, Void Force is nice. Um, probably... I'm gonna get rid of Devour here. Get you Bolt Wizard now. And Argilla. Um, you can start working towards Maze. Again, I'm trying to get her Void Force as soon as possible. Or not, uh, I'm trying to get her Null, null Force. I know I'm probably going to get capped on money very soon, so I definitely won't be able to rush directly towards Null Force, but I, I just want to make sure I'm on the right path, unlike last time where she got it all the way at the end of the game. Got two landmines which deal earth damage. Alright. 
keep going. Strong presence can be felt on the other side. Open the door. Uh, yeah, we have enough time. You're here already, huh? Well, this is as far as you go. Surrender or die. Oh. Kind of basic enemies, but probably have more HP than usual. Or not. You could be completely trash. Sure. Well, this will probably give you Bolt Wizard. Almost. The cables are severed. Those soldiers must have done this. There's nothing we can do. We should return to the repairman. Wait, seriously? Um... You want me to teleport back? Or do you mean look for the younger one? Interesting. I've noticed ailments really, they don't hurt that much. Oh, they are weak to fire. Well, I'm stupid. Okay, calm down there. Jeez. I don't think teleport was an option here. No, it wasn't. So I think I'm actually, I'm going to progress and continue on the dungeon until they, uh, until I reach a dead end, I guess. And then if I have to, then I'll go back because I feel like if the, if they put the little brother somewhere close, that I don't actually have to come all the way back to the beginning. So let's go ahead and see. Oh god, this is a berserk with paddle sags, so I can't use, well, I guess I could use items, I could use the uh, landmine. Okay, well shit. We have electricity now, so that's good. So let's get rid of Void Force. And get rid of... I don't want to get rid of Devour yet. So actually, I'm going to get rid of Zan. Because um, Argilla has Zan. So there's no real need to double up on that right now.
Okay, so we could Matera here. We could also Aggie this guy first. So we could open this door, but the barrier is closed. Yep, so it looks like I have to fix those cables, which means I have to backtrack all the way to the beginning to get the repairman. Which is a little annoying. Okay, asshole. Come on. Um, I don't know what they're weak to. Let's, let's start with Bufu. Let's go ahead and Dia you. And because you have to be assholes, I'm gonna do this. That's right. I'm gonna head back. So what I'll do is I'll get back to the save point first and change up my mantra. And then next time I will have backtracked all the way to the big brother. So you don't have to see the backtracking and then we'll deal with it in the next episode. Let's go ahead and take out these Kaiwans first. It's actually so nice to have all the elements, because I didn't even realize in the last game that we could combo basically out of turn. So even though Surf used his turn to use fire, using a combo attack, I can just keep hitting fire weaknesses over and over again. So yeah, probably gonna take advantage of that a bit more this game. But next time, I will meet you guys back at the repairman, and I'll, I'll record myself going back there, just in case there's any events or anything on the way. But uh, if not, then I'll be at the repairman, I'll talk to him, and then I guess I'm gonna have to come all the way back here again with him, unless they decide to skip me through the dungeon, which I doubt they will. But um, that's, yeah, that's something we'll do next time. So until then, Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys, actually not yet, because I want to change the mantra, and I'll do that on screen. Okay, so let's get you, um, not Angel, Bolt Lord. Alright, now, next time. I will see you guys back here. Until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!